I'm Ray Myers with Kraft vs. Cruft, and we have breaking news. Devin has been beaten. I repeat, Devin has been beaten. Now, this, of course, refers to uh, my video from two weeks ago, We Can Beat Devin, where I predicted that the uh, very impressive sweep bench score of 13.8% that was reported by the closed beta of the Devon Autonomous Coder by Cognition uh, that was released on March 12th. My prediction that that would be broken within two months. Well, I am happy to report today that we are ahead of schedule. So little timeline after that. We had Sweet Agent come out just last week by Princeton NLP Lab, the uh, same people that released the Sweet Bench benchmark itself, which I feel is really good in terms of how it represents the context of realistic software engineering tasks. And the community has started to orient around that kind of problem solving uh, now that respectable scores are being put on the board. So this is really exciting. Uh, Sweet Bench, I think, came out in September and all uh, state-of-the-art models were doing absolutely dismally. Um, however, still wrapping, mo in most cases, GPT-4, the agents are starting to catch back up. We are understanding how to give them better tools and create a better holistic tool around the LLM, which is, I really love the sort of thing I started Mender.ai to, you know, encourage thinking about. So the news now is that last evening, uh, Auto Code Rover was published by a professor of computer science at National University of Singapore. And as you can see, what they are reporting, and we assume is correct, is 22% on not Sweebench exactly, Sweebench Lite, which is a slightly easier uh, and more importantly, cheaper to run sample of Sweebench that's officially uh, published also by, by Princeton. So it is the official subset. Now that shows a five percentage point increase over Princeton's sweet agent, which as you'll recall, was at near parity with Devon. So it is safe to say that at least on sweet bench performance, Devon has been beaten by an open source agent. At least on the benchmark area, Devon has been beaten by the criteria established before. We are still uh, seeing the community work on packaging having a self-hostable version that gives you a good experience like the demos we saw, but also a lot of progress there uh, by the likes of Open Devon, by the likes of Devica and Merco AI. So stay tuned for that, even though that'll be a bit more of a subjective metric, that is certainly something that is gonna make it a lot more useful. Now, this is a mid-cycle release. I normally do my videos on Sunday, but I felt that this was important. But at the end of the day, this is not a news channel. This is not an AI news uh, channel where we're just going to talk about the latest thing all the time. There are plenty of those. I like Thursday AI podcast as sort of a catch-all. I do think with all these developments and the new sort of goal-oriented nature of, of the pursuit, which I think is really productive, that it would be helpful for there to be more places to turn to, in addition to just the discords that are hanging in now, like the Open Devon Discord and the Can We Beat Devon Discord, soon to be renamed, I guess, now that we have. And so I'd like to supplement those with something I'm calling nopilot.dev. So watch that space, but in the meantime, remember, as Lao Tzu said in the Tao Te Ching, with patience, the most tangled cord may be undone. Thank you.